We know in order to get the justice that we deserve, we have to love the oppressed more than we hate the oppressor. Yeah. We need to see the world through the eyes of the most vulnerable people and demand the same from every single one of our leaders. We deserve to live our best lives. We deserve a Green New Deal. Yeah. We deserve Medicare for all. We Ending gun violence. Reimagining public safety. Good paying union jobs. No justice. No justice. 24-year-old Orlando activist Maxwell Frost has joined the crowded field of contenders jostling for Congresswoman Val Demings' House seat in Florida, now that Demings will be challenging Senator Marco Rubio in the Senate. Frost is an organizer for gun reform group March for Our Lives. If elected, he would be one of the first members of Gen Z elected to Congress. Joining me now is Maxwell Frost, Democratic candidate for Congress in Florida. And I have to say, it is finally great to have you on. We have been trying to, we've, this is the fourth weekend in a row, we have tried to get you on. Breaking news got you bumped each time, but here you are. Why are you running for Congress? Thank you so much for having me, Jonathan. It's great to be here. Look, about a year ago, I saw a video on my phone of a black man being murdered, and his name was George Floyd. After I saw that video, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I packed the bag, I went to downtown Orlando, hit the streets with other organizers, and began organizing for black lives and for justice, not just in my community, but across the entire nation. Um, I knew in that moment, the moments where I was being tear gassed, beat, pepper sprayed, the night I was arrested and jailed, when I sat in that jail cell, I was thinking about other struggles people go through as well. The kids who cross the border with their parents to find a better life, but then, found themselves in a cage. Um, the folks all across this country who die because they don't have health insurance, because they don't have access to, to money and to funds and to opportunity. I'm running for Congress because of that oppression and those issues. The fact of the matter is, Jonathan, we deserve better. I'm running to redefine what it means to be a politician. We shouldn't feel lucky to have people on our side. Every person across the country deserves a representative that makes them smile, someone that reminds them that they're from the same community and they're fighting with them uh, for a better life and for justice for all people. So you just talked about your protests um, as part of the, the protests of the George Floyd uh, murder, but you also were part of a protest uh, ag uh, against what was happening on January 6th. You sent out a, you sent out a tweet. I did a peaceful sit-in at my city hall and got tear gassed and beat and, um, when Governor DeSantis signed HB1, which was the anti-riot bill to crack down on protests back in April, uh, you spoke out, uh, spoke out against it at the time. And so I'm wondering, how will you translate uh, your activism to legislation on the Hill to combat Governor uh, DeSantis, or as you call him, Governor Death Sentence? Yes, Governor Death Sentence. Of course. Look, I believe that some of our best representatives are folks who come from poor and working class backgrounds. Organizers, teachers, nurses, people who understand the struggle and live day to day in these communities doing great work. Those are the type of people that we need in office because when they go to office, they not only bring their experience, they, but they bring a resiliency and a motivation that rivals the sun. They come in not worrying about future political ambitions, not worrying about the money. They come in worrying about the people in their communities. And that's why when I'm in Congress, as an organizer, it's not gonna diminish the work I've done in the past. It's not gonna change who I am and what I believe in. It's only gonna strengthen my resolve and put me in a different position to do the work I've been doing since I was 15 years old. Um, do you think if you were to become a member of Congress, I mean, in this town, it's supposedly all about bipartisanship and you get co-sponsors of bills from people on the other side of the aisle. You think you can do that? Of course I can do that, Jonathan. I mean, this is the work I've been doing here on the ground as an organizer. We have to work with folks who think differently um, than us to fight against oppression. We had to do that with HB1, with Governor Ron death sentence. And so that's exactly what I'll do once I'm elected to Congress as well. This is a common question that people ask. Can folks who have bold ideas work with others? Do they understand that things work slow in Congress sometimes? And the answer is yes, of course we know that. But the difference, Jonathan, is we don't allow our understanding of the system to change what we believe in and how hard we're gonna fight for it. 
All right, Maxwell, it, it, it is malpractice for you to come on TV and not say what your website is. How can people find out about you? Definitely. Folks can support our campaign at frostforcongress.com. Again, that's F-R-O-S-T for congress.com. There's a better world out there. We deserve it, and we're going to fight for it. Maxwell Frost, thank you very much for coming, finally coming to The Sunday Show. In the next